Well, who is Christina Benjamin? I'm still discovering who Christina Benjamin is. That's the irony of that. <laughs> uh, Christina Benjamin is a wife, a mother. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter. I'm a hairstylist, what I need to be, a makeup artist, a whole conglomerate of some things. What I am is just, uh, hey, I'm someone in the works in the making. Singing has always been a part of my life, even when I wasn't in the front, because actually, to tell you the truth, I never seen myself being in front of a camera, or um, I was one of those closet singers. <laughs> um, so it's just crazy that God brought the gift out as I got older, and um, my confidence grew. So you just never know where God's going to take your life and lead you. Well, that's what kind of got me going. Music's always been a part of my life. Benjamin Entertainment group started with me. I was my husband's first artist. Um, we knew nothing about the industry, absolutely nothing. And um, we we tried to reach out to so many different people, but um, it was crazy because since we couldn't find a record company, he became the record company. So God gave him the vision and hey, five years later, this is where we're at. We have like other artists, it's like amazing, right? Being an independent artist, you have to have a lot of thick skin. Um, you have to be passionate about what you do. You have to have a lot of drive. Um, there's no one telling you uh, to get up and do this and that. You're totally motivated by your hunger to make it. Um, it has a lot of highs and lows, but the rewards are so great because you're in a position to tell the world what you want to say and give the world you. You don't have anybody really saying, well, well, we want you to sing like this, or this is the songs we want you to sing. You're able to really give more of yourself as an artist, I feel. You have an advantage of being an independent artist. You get to tell your story your way, in your words. As I go deeper in my relationship with God, the music is becoming more in depth, and it's becoming more real. The anointing is definitely there because anytime I'm, I'm not one of those writers that can really write, um, off of just hearing some music or just because it's time for me to write, I really have to be inspired by the Holy Spirit. And a lot of my, my music is wrote right in worship. So the Lord will download it right into my spirit and the songs come like that. And that's how I know the anointing of God is on it because it's really coming from a true place of worship because I'm in worship as I'm writing it. So um, it's great. I'm discovering who the Holy Spirit is. He's becoming so real in my life and I'm so glad that I have that truth. He's not far away, he's like here. So with me knowing that, let me tell you, the enemy should have never let me get a hold to knowing who the Holy Spirit really is because now I'm writing with a whole nother level of authority. And so I'm excited. So it's, it's a ride right now, we're on a journey right now. So that's where I'm at with my music. Um, it took a lot of struggle. It took a lot of days where I had to go without. Um, it took a lot of tears, a lot of work, but I'm here because um, I persevered. I trusted in God. I never forgot what he spoke in our lives that um, it, um, that we were going to have this entertainment company, that he was going to take me to the nations and, you know, I was going to be able to minister. And I've seen God time and time again reveal his truth and his word. And his word will not return to him void. Those things that he spoke to me, I've seen everything come to pass. And if not, it's in the works. So God is faithful. One, I know this is cliche, but I bring myself. Owning my truth as an artist. How God has created my uniqueness and owning that. And not being pressured into feeling, well, because this particular style is doing real good, let me kind of cartel my music to write in that way because I want to appeal to that type of group of people. No, it's about sticking to who God has created you to be, owning your artistry because that's what's going to uh, captivate your audience. And people know when you're being real. And what people are looking for is an authentic artist. That's what they're looking for. They're, they're looking for someone that has the it factor. And that's something they haven't seen before. You know, so um, I think what I'm seeing a lot of in our industry is people just trying to sell records and people not really staying true to who they are and who, ha who God has created them to be. So I just feel like God is so complex. There's no need for us to try to make carbon copies of other things. Be yourself. Be who God has created you to be. And I mean, he already has an audience for you. So be yourself. <laughs>